My name is Joaquin Siwateneo, and I'm a proud product of old East Dallas. Dallas was and always will be my home. I'm a teacher, a poet, a world champion, and I am your inaugural Dallas Poet Laureate. The poem I'm going to share with you today is called Poem for John. This is actually the poem I used in Paris, France during the World Championship of Poetry Slam competition to win the World Cup that year for the United States of America. And I wrote it for a student named John who taught me a thing or two about a thing or two. It goes like this. So the assignment I gave my high school English students was to write a series of four short haiku poems that distinctly say something about themselves and then <gasps> recite them to the class. These are the four poems that John recited that day. Speaking in a quiet, communicative way always came easy to me. Accident is equal to invention, but there's hope. I still practice accidents. I restore antique radios. I like the way static feels in my palms. You cannot deny the lucid fact that silence must succumb to voice. And I have to let you know now, John. Although you never uttered one word in class, you spoke volumes to me. And you taught me a lesson in humility. Because I realized that day in my blind and deaf arrogance that I asked you to master my language without attempting to learn one word of yours. So starting today, I'll begin by learning the signs for what I feel the most beautiful spoken words in existence. Words like moon. Eclipse, Grandfather, Sunflower. And I realize now, John, if I were ever to write you a poem, it would probably sound something like this to you. My mother was the moon, and my father was the sun. The moon and sun that existed in a constant state of eclipse. So I learned to grow despite the darkness. And I learned at an early age the power of spoken word. word. My mother's silence and my father's absence from cave walls that my grandfather's words reverberated off of like children dancing in a field of purple simply for the sake of purple. And it is true. Metaphorically speaking, I'm that whoo, sunflower growing wildly in the alley adjacent to nothing. And though my petals extend upwards toward darkness, my roots extend deeply toward the warmth of all the voices that nourished me or didn't nourish me. So thank you, mute mother. Thank you, absent father. Thank you, beautiful, all-encompassing grandfather. And thank you, John, my silent, poetic, student. For your words.